Hi, Dr. Edward Schuster with your tip of the week. Today's tip is how to stay alive and not go crazy during the month of April. The virus is here. Call it what you want. The virus, COVID-19, the plague, the beast, the devil, it's here. How can you stay alive? Number one, social isolation. You got to run, you got to hide. There is no good treatment for this virus. If you're high risk, or even if you're young, you can get it, you can get it bad, and there is no cure. So you need to do social isolation. Number two, limit the amount of visits. If you have to go food shopping, go once a week. Don't be running around a lot. Stay home, stay home, stay home. Wash your hands. If you go outside and you come back, wash your hands. If you go to the supermarket and you come back, wash your hands. You cannot wash your hands too many times a day. The way the virus gets into you is you touch something and then you go like this. So keep your hands away from your face. Should you wear masks? Wearing a mask won't stop you from getting the virus, but it might stop people from spreading it. It's not a bad idea. However, most people don't have masks because even the doctors and nurses don't have enough masks. And take your medicines. If you have hypertension, if you have diabetes, we don't want you sick now, we want you home. So take your medicines and take good care of yourself. So how do you avoid going crazy? Number one, limit the amount of news you're watching. The news can drive you crazy. People are sitting home and watching the news all day. It's tough. Mother Nature is tough. 8,000 Americans die every day. One American dies every 10 seconds from heart disease, cancer, auto accident, suicide, overdose. That could drive you crazy thinking about that. Watch the news for half an hour in the morning and then don't watch it the rest of the day. The story is simple. April's going to be lousy. Hopefully May will be better. Try to work at home. I'm doing telemedicine, try to work, use the computer, do projects. Exercise, you're allowed to walk in your yard, you're allowed to walk on the street, you're allowed to ride your bike, just stay away from other people. Talk to people, FaceTime people. If you have friends, spend time with them every day, they're as lonely as you are. And say some thank yous. If you know a policeman, a fireman, the guy who dumps the garbage, the guy who delivers the oil, they're keeping this country running. Hospital administrators are keeping the hospitals going. Their paramedics are coming to take sick people. And probably most importantly, the nurses. If this virus is the devil, the nurses are the angels. And they're not sweet angels. These nurses are tough and they're vicious and they're really good at fighting and trying to keep you alive. I remember my first day at Duke. I was a hotshot young intern wearing my whites. We were there, it was the first lecture at seven in the morning, our first year. Our first lecture, Dr. James Weingarten, the chief of medicine came in. And the first thing he said to us was, 10 of you is not worth one good nurse. And of course, the doctors who are working 24 seven, you know that thousands and thousands of nurses and doctors are getting sick and some of them are dying trying to save your lives and your friends lives. So call them up, say thank you. If they're not home, call their families and say thank you to them. If you think this tip is important, share it with your friends. And remember, keep the faith, this too shall pass.